Whoa! Whoa! It's so cool to finally be here. But I must admit that this is a huge stage and I'm a bit nervous, so be gentle. But luckily, I have the greatest mom. And she taught me that whenever I feel nervous and I don't know what to talk about, I should calm down. I should, if possible, I should sit down and I should discuss about the weather. And that's exactly what I'm going to do. Here is the snow line last Wednesday. Uh, after this, uh, this is from the Finnish Meteorological Institute. After this, I went to Twitter and uh, got all the tweets with the hashtag Lumi, snow, and put them on the map. And they align quite nicely. Uh, I might be a bit nerd, but for me, this is super cool. Because now I don't have to look outside the window, I can just check Twitter to see if there's snow. Okay, this here. This here is data. I know. And let's face the fact, I'm going to talk about big data. And if you're like I was two years ago, you're probably rolling your eyes and thinking that, oh, not again. I, I know, because it's a buzzword. And, and I totally understand, because normally when people talk about big data, they show you something like this. You have these supposed to be cool nets and uh, charts on top of binary numbers. And then you have tubes made out of binary numbers. And then something snaps and you just put binary numbers everywhere. <laughs> so I understand that, uh, that, uh, that, it might be, uh, that you might be rolling your eyes now. But, but two years ago, I made a decision that every time someone says the words big data to me, I'm not going to roll my eyes. I'm going to be like, whoa, and actually mean it. And let me tell you why. Researchers say that in five to ten years, big data will change the world. Some of us don't have five to ten years. My wife's grandfather passed away this summer. He was the grumpiest but the most interesting man I've ever met. But he died of cancer. And cancer is a disease that is much more curable when noticed early. And it is a disease of the genome, which means that when we use smartphones and when we gather all the data that we can gather right now and analyze that data, cancer will become much more curable. And it's not just cancer. Practically any disease will be easier to study, easier to research, easier to, uh, easier to cure with data. I'm so thankful that my mom is alive and well today, but I don't know what diseases are there to come in five to ten years. But luckily, we don't have to wait five to ten years. We have all the technology today. We only need to change our attitude and use that technology. And it starts with the attitude. So, I have a suggestion for you. Next time, someone says the words big data to you, don't roll your eyes, but give that guy a fist bump, because that nerd might save your mom. Thank you.